It's okay, they'll come up, they'll come up, yeah. <laughs> you're live again but they might see it um we are live again and uh, i hope you can see us now and it's not buffering please let us know in the chat box if we are not buffering now if everything is fine um Yes, we can help you with verbal fluency. Um, Ash can uh, solve the problem. Verbal, just give us a minute. Let everyone join. Yes, we are con going to continue for 20 more minutes until it's already uh, 5 o'clock. It's one hour. Um, thank you, um, Kaid. Um, that Yogendra said that he uh, he's angry about us, at us because we didn't answer his question. Please write your question again. Yogendra, please write your question right now. We'll answer it here. Exactly. Itself. We'll answer it because there are many questions coming. We could not... Um, no, it's not buffering now. Perfect. It's buffering again for some people. <laughs> but for now, some people, it's fine. And for us, it's, the internet is working fine. It does. There's no error here. Please invite everyone, whoever so was there. Uh, the class will continue for a little bit longer. Uh, good evening, everyone. What is analytical paragraph? Analytical paragraph is kind of a paragraph which uh, shows an analysis on something. It's it's not based on facts directly, but in fact, your in. Okay, somebody asked the question: What is the difference between self-esteem and self-confidence? So, uh, self-confidence is say that self-confidence <laughs> that I know I can do it. Self-confidence and self-esteem. So, in self-esteem, you have a little bit feeling of egoism. Yes, a bit. Self-confidence is when you're feeling low and you push yourself, you watch movies, you build your confidence up by exactly. yourself, by reading books, watching movies or anything. That's called self-confidence. The description, how, what about modal verbs and let? We already have posted videos. So answering that question would be um, not that easy because it is uh, time taking. So please watch in the videos. We already have posted the videos. Okay. Um, okay. There's a question on um, active and passive voice. First of all, it's language. You have to understand understand not just language we have psychological fact situations topics you are going to be fluent in so first of all keep your fundamentals clear your your ground floor being clear that is fundamentals clear and then keep increasing your levels you know like you are right now b2 let's say or let's say b1 you go to b2 you go to c1 so for that i would suggest you go in various fields watch various kinds of movies not just one kind uh, add many things to it read books Talk to people. So it's not just one thing. You have to add many things in your everyday um, schedule. So Rehanan and has the question, should I talk to other people or I should talk to myself? Because when I start talking to other people, they demotivate me that you're showing up and you're talking in English. It happens, guys. It happens with everyone that when you try to talk to other people, uh, when you try to talk to other people, they might have a feeling that you're trying to show off and you're trying to tell them, you know, I'm learning English and I'm doing this. So don't worry about it. If you're getting benefit by talking to other people, even if they have other thoughts about you, it's all right. Just go ahead and talk. And if that person is making fun of you continuously, then please try to find somebody else. It's all right. Or try talking to yourself in front of the mirror. That's the best way to do it. Uh, some people are asking. It's very hard for me. Rahul is asking. It's very hard for me to talk continuously on one point, 15 minutes. Some of you might have this problem. Please listen to this carefully. If you have problem of speaking continuously for one, 15 minutes, that means uh, it, that is okay. Because 15 minutes is a long time. In fact, two to three minutes are is okay. Okay. 15 minutes is a long time. In fact, 10 minutes is okay. So don't be so harsh on yourself. Somebody is asking us, how did you guys improve your uh, fluency in English? So through that, you can also learn how did we do that and you can do that. So we learned through, honestly, practice. We didn't follow any grammar book or any book itself. We just found good people. We just found people who were cooperative, who could help us. So we keep talking to various people. Okay. Haven't we answered this Pew's question? Can you guys please give a improved verbal fluency? Yes, we did. We did. Uh, verbal fluency requires many things such as your self-confidence, uh, various layers such as listening to uh, songs, watching movies, books, all these factors. You have to you have to consider input and output both. Then only then fluency can be enhanced. We have many videos posted on fluency, so please watch them. That will help you. Uh, Rajita, uh, reading apps, English reading apps, there are many, plenty, like bilingual, I have suggested, or um, you... There was conversational exchange. You oh, yes, one more thing. Uh, one more thing. I'll also uh, talk about this. 
if you want a partner okay if you want a partner to speak please go for website called conversation exchange this website is like facebook for speakers just search conversational con language and you can teach them your own language and guys that this is also free of cost conversational exchange is a good website but please remember uh, you can use it to meet people as well as learn english um so i've already written in the uh, chats conversational exchange there you meet people with whom you can actually practice english and if you are not finding partners among yourself then please visit this website you will find a lot of people to talk and help you with english language yes uh, 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 how can i remember grammar rules uh, tala definitely will help you on that grammar rules are not supposed to be remembered they're just supposed to be followed and if you make a mistake somebody have to correct you so please don't sit and remember grammar rules they are just rules okay uh, our let's say people who cook at home they don't remember the steps they just do it they made a mistake they learn from that please don't sit and take a book and remember grammar rules this is my advice just speak if so, is there, there's an error learn from that uh, there's a question from um, rahul how to prepare for group discussion where you will have five or six people and usually it happens in interviews itself that you or whenever you have four or five people around you let it be when you have four or five people around you please pick the point that they have left talking about so in a group discussion you always have a choice to make for the topic or against the topic um and if, so this is the connectivity you are building with the other speakers and believe me interviewers like this thing when you try to take the point from other people because that shows that you are attentive you are focusing in the conversation happening exactly. so that's something you can um jitendra you are asking about better pronunciation uh, better pronunciation can be achieved by a website called cambridge dictionary it's a website it's called dictionary but it's a website you search the word which you don't know or you think you have fear you already attached 1200 words which are used commonly please uh, copy paste them in the dictionary and search which accent do you want you can easily get the pronunciation and then you can judge yourself or practice uh, yourself guys we have already posted videos on modal words in the channel the link as will well. go again vishwajit is asking about interview we already posted yeah. on interview as well uh, modal verbs uh, please face stress interviews yes yes uh, kaid um, interview skills are already being posted in on the channel how to solve this interview skills the link will go in the description and in the video itself once it's live yes. on the channel so don't worry about it all the links that we have mentioned throughout the video will be there so questions like modal verbs and tenses and interview skills confidence phrasal verbs everything has been created the yes. link will go today uh, as well lakhan singh thakur yes we are on instagram please follow us there link is all, will be also in the description you the have the account is learn with samanash same you so you can visit there we'll as well we'll visit there as well uh, yes lakhan we are on instagram please connect uh, to us uh, guys be lingual in conversation exchange is not like cambly it's, it's free, free of cost so it's free don't compare it with anything schedule uh, shivani uh, you will get the schedule in the form of a video we cannot put the schedule here Merriam Webster is a good website again you can use that website as well Shivani, somebody remember? has asked Yes Shiva uh, uh, okay uh, thank you Preeti for understanding and um, compliments from our side as well for you liking the video um, and connecting through this um, see uh, guys this is not one day thing this is not a sprint this is a marathon we have to continue every day we have to practice something every day bring our doubt every day yes how to write like a professional ma'am to write i usually to like like write like a professional you have to be professional first of all so people don't just write anything and everything they become professional in one field uh, so please choose your field once first of all and then understand vocabulary or sentences in that field itself so for example medical line they use certain words in uh, let's say political line they use certain words so please choose your field and let us know we will definitely work on that uh guys uh, this um, conversational exchange is similar like cambly but it's free you will find people there with whom you can connect on a daily basis you can talk to them in english mm -hmm. but it's completely free of cost so try this uh, website and make an account there and start using it as no, much no, as no, possible no 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 sure is is not free it, uh, it's it's free oh thank you tamim for uh, tamim for the donation of 20 rupees thank you tamim official that's so great uh, you guys are forgetting donation this is donation based class please donate something for the people who need it um yes um, ielts will we already have posted videos for ielts please go through the channel it's a huge playlist of 30 videos uh, you will definitely get over there okay uh, joy asked something about have eaten and ate 
have eaten is perfect tense okay have eaten is perfect tense there are four main reasons for using perfect tense the first reason is that you have finished just now i have eaten my food that's just now finished second reason is from the previous impact so those four reasons you have to search i'm telling you only that you what you can search directly what is perfect tense used for and eight is just past tense we don't have connection with the time in eight past tense no connection have eaten connection with the time so please search the differences. Okay, there's a question. How can I improve my handwriting? So guys, uh, a personal story behind that. His handwriting is horrible. Yes. I can tell you that. If you see the notebook there, it's it's really horrible. So what you can do is you go to a, a, a bookstore or a place where you find a lot of books. And if you have kids at your home, they have a handwriting notebook. So if you want to actually practice and work on your... Okay, Dhananjit, thank you for 20 rupees. Uh, we got a super chat over there for 20 rupees. Thank you again, guys. So as I was saying for handwriting, um, first thing is if you can practice on the piece of paper by yourself every day, try writing one paragraph every day and see that you change it every day. If not, then buy those notebooks where you can practice handwriting. So that will give you lines over that you have to copy it. I know it's very basic, but if you are really thinking of impressing someone by your handwriting, then you should start from the basic itself. Okay, we have a question from Sahil and Panchal, same app, same question. Sahil and Panchan ha uh, Panchal has same question, free app to learn English. I have already told you it's called Bilingual. It's an amazing app. It has everything in it. I think you can use it easily. Just go to a uh, Play Store or your iPhone store. You can get it. It's called Bilingual, free app. Please try to go for that. Uh, Shamim, you said that we didn't answer your question. Can you please write it again? Because... Um, okay, somebody has said rupees one crore. One crore, thank you for... Can you transfer that <laughs> in the account? Rupees one crore? Uh, yes. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, Ravneet is not uh, free lingual. It's bilingual. Let me type it here. Bilingual. Somebody is asking what is the exact use of overwhelming? So overwhelming is... Uh, if you have watched yesterday's video, I was really Rajkumar, overwhelmed by the uh, donation you have given and the number of amount you have given. So when you make somebody emotional and they are like so so into the conversation and so happy about it, they're overwhelmed by your gesture. So that's the correct usage of overwhelming. Um, somebody said, or let's say Rizwan said, I'm often uh, get stuck while speaking. I often get stuck while speaking. What to do? You are getting stuck because you don't have a content. You might have language problem. The possibilities are many so first of all find the cause root cause and then we'll solve solve it okay how do i get out of pubg <laughs> <laughs> so um, i think this pubg is a problem Srinivas, right now. <laughs> a gaming problem i had this as well i still have it gaming uh, is something which is very difficult to get out from especially pubg because it's easy to get into uh, you know you can use it for learning english as well there are many things to learn and find a friend you can talk to in english in pubg itself make your trouble into your power you can do that okay and reduce every day 15 minutes 20 minutes eventually it will reduce you cannot make it completely zero that is for sure you will suffer that's my advice so somebody saying sam has an overwhelming personality okay thank <laughs> that's you so the much correct you said <laughs> yeah thank you so Speechless. much um uh, where are we from guys um <laughs> we are from india let's say for now <laughs> once you are fluent in english any of let's say 80 percent of people are fluent in english will reveal everything at ourselves we make a video on ourselves our life how we do it and everything just please write in the comment that you are fluent one day uh ajay yadav thank you for 500 rupees super in super chat 500 rupees. thank you so much thank ajay. you again That's a guys a big clap for everyone uh viewers are increasing and likes are not increasing we want likes uh ravneet from ludhiana thank you so much um you're ignoring me and my questions we are not ignoring you but we just please write your question please again. write your question and somebody is asking by uh, just like learning german uh, grammar can we learn be fluent you cannot be fluent just by knowing grammar you can get full score in grammar test but you cannot be fluent uh, okay? somebody is asking i'm able to talk with small sentences but i'm not able to convey the complex sentences guys it's okay now Please focus what I'm about to say here. Rupam, please type your question here. We are not ignoring you. Please write the question here so that we can answer your question here. So if you notice for the remaining 10 minutes, I'll only talk in small sentences. So guys, there is no problem if you start talking in English and start talking with small sentences. 
it's it's not necessary to jump into the complex sentences and use however more over uh, together and stuff like that not required start small it's okay break your sentences every time you have another idea in your mind eventually when you start listening to movies and when you watching movies and when you start reading books the habit of using complex sentence will develop eventually so start from small it's all right okay we have a question from um asking about good reader how to be a good reader there's nothing like good reader uh, rupam please write your question here rupam dube please write your question we didn't get your question this far away can you write it again we'll answer the question. how can i make my okay rupam uh, about vocabulary we have already posted a video first of all secondly we have posted uh, posted a pdf which uh, consists of 1200 words which are amazing for you for every day and last thing everyone i'm going to post one more uh, one more pdf please this is important listen to this we're going to post most frequently used 5000 words okay not 200 300 5000 words these words will cover 80 to 90 percent of your everyday english if you can master these 5000 words more than enough i'm gonna post a v a, a pdf which will contain 5000 words for you okay so uh, somebody is asking that uh, um i forgot mm -hmm. there was a question uh, there was a question what is it what is the meaning of gotta or let's say gotcha so i gotta do this this is a kind of urban slang that means it's not a real word in english so, gotta means i have to do it i gotta do this or if i ask you have you got that notebook i told you yesterday i got it so i gotcha i understood yes this is the way to use this slang uh ravneet we have suggested already uh we already made a video but i would suggest you a nice movie for that you can watch uh king speech my fair lady okay i got the question question was can you suggest free apps for reading yes guys when i say reading please take it serious have a notebook with you have mm -hmm. a book with you if you're going to read it online you will not get the gist of the words that are being used mm -hmm. you're not able to underline the words you're not able to write it down immediately please start reading books with the notebook in your hand or it can be your kids uh, notebook it can be your sister elder sister or younger sister's mm -hmm. notebook take a book in your hand and feel it only then you can get the essence of reading the book yes. apps is something when you are advanced level and when you can want to increase your reading books habit use it later but not now okay um vikram says that i'm speaking i speak a lot and that's why i see i'm getting fluent vikram congratulations that's a good thing that's the best way to do it you speak a lot you find people okay uh, that's uh, how you do it what is the importance of idioms in our daily conversation so if you have noticed us for last 40 minutes we haven't used a single idiom so idioms are used when you want to you know create an impression on someone exactly. that i know english only then you can it shows an extra fit on your english that you know i know english or better something like that in your daily conversation it's not that necessary but you should know it when you're reading books you will find these when you're watching True. movies you will find these idioms so it's always good to have an understanding panchal has a question about uh, confidence confidence is nothing actually it's just knowledge and practice think about it okay your your younger brother is sitting next to you on in a car and you say that i do you have confidence to you know drive this they won't get the confidence confidence is nothing but the knowledge and practice so please don't connect confidence with something concrete that can come suddenly that like uh, like an apple um, you buy so confidence comes from practice tattoo bar is not working so guys we'll give the name of the link again in the okay website. let me just write you a link tattoo eba is a website so it's a website uh, it's called tattoo eba org i'm going to give you the website um address so that you can directly go to the website and search the word you want to make for okay sahil don't beg please let us know what is your question uh sahil we have i've already we already answered some of your question please write the question again so that we can answer here uh somebody said i'm i'm a linguist but i forget words um ishfaq um the forgetting words that means you're not using them frequently please increase the frequency frequency of the words you want to continue okay Uh, we have already posted the website here let me post it again this is free website and amazing content on this website let me post it again no person we are not ignoring anyone please remember we could not just you know overwhelming chat we cannot answer all the question please uh, understand this part can you please write the question again 
Uh, okay. He wants to understand how can he improve true and false in reading for IELTS. Oh, like true or false in reading and IELTS. We have already posted a video in the series. I will put the link. If you have my number, I'll write it here. Please write direct questions to it. I'll give you practice exercises. What is okay? the use of tongue Let me write my number. in daily language? There is no use of tongue twisters in your conversation. It's only for fun. So no need. Um, Mohammed is asking if you are siblings. No, we are not siblings. Um, Isfak, you're welcome. Yes, you can talk in English fluently without grammar. That's yes. it, that's completely fine because you know we have seen students who have learned English by just watching movies. True. They learn it by heart. They focus on the way the other person has said it. So that's more than enough. Okay, we are reaching the end. We just we have two minutes. Please leave like right now. We have 240 concurrent viewers, but still we have 150 likes. Please leave likes right now. We are about to end. Difference between uh, unless and until. Uh, unless and until are uh, very similar, I would say. Unless you do it, I'm going to, so unless is like a condition that uh, if you don't do this, I won't do that. And until is used for time duration. Okay, until is used for doing use for time duration. I'll continue doing it until this point. Okay, so, so unless means comes first condition and unless comes until comes later all the links of the pdfs will go in the description of the video guys it's in the description vikram i'm happy to hear these nice words so guys uh, as we said this is going to be a long time uh, yes so please write your questions in the mail we'll answer all the mail questions for sure if your answer is not or uh, thank you for the likes it's from it is from 140 to 173 um there's no role for tongue twisters it's just a way to show that there are big words okay um, professional, Ayushi, the there's, there's, uh, like I said, professional means something. You have to be professional in one field. Please let us know your field so that we can suggest you certain websites and apps for that field itself. Saying, let me complete this time. As Sayal, thank saying you for that, being uh, such a big fan. I'm sorry. There is, these are uh, long videos and they're going to be throughout the channel. And this is just day two. We have uh, 15 more days to come up in the series. So please make sure that you join them or you connect with us every day. Don't just attend today and leave it tomorrow because you're gonna, we're going to answer all the questions you have. So keep, make sure that you attend it till the end. Uh, Sahil, thank you for being such a big fan. You are a great student as well. Two questions coming. PDF will be added in the link when the video is posted. The same video, live video. And second thing, we will have a class every day at 4 p.m. Please join the class from tomorrow at 4 p.m today we had to make it two times because of our internet connection otherwise four to five the class goes on don't okay? watch hindi movies with subtitles to help you in english it won't help, <laughs> it won't help. only it won't watch help. english movies with, with subtitles. english subtitles okay uh timing for live classes will be 4 p.m uh Sudhisna, 4 p.m okay so i think uh is that okay 4 p.m will be the timing classes using big word in conversation not necessary it's just to impress like as I has told you um I th oh yeah pdf will be added to the uh, to the video when the the live class becomes a video the link you can find in the video itself at the end in the description when the video is uploaded i hope we are clearing here yes um yeah vikram uh, we are we are happy to <laughs> see you here vikram goodbye vikram and i see javed 30 days classes is already on the in uh, channel 10 more 11 yes 4 more p.m mandy uh, 4 p.m Every day. Every day we'll have classes until the lockdown continues. Okay, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Um, uh, Varwala, you have any question you're asking for reply for on something? At 4 p.m. to help you guys. Um, and thank you for joining us. Please leave a like and uh, don't forget to contribute on the number I have men mentioned. Um, 5 p.m. if you join, we will be at the end almost. So please join at least at 4.30. Okay? Please take care uh, and we'll see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. Okay? Invite your friends and see you later. Thank you all. We love you all. Goodbye. Material will be added as PDF later. Okay? Bye-bye.